Welcome to Cells to Symptoms, the case-based way of learning pathology. In this video, we're going to be thinking about the normal structure of an artery and considering the stages of atheromatous disease. Atheroma is a disease of the arterial intima characterized by lipid deposition. This results in a number of complications, including narrowing of the vessel lumen, resulting in a reduced blood supply. Atheromatous disease can manifest itself clinically in a number of ways. These include angina, myocardial infarction, stroke, bowel ischemia, and claudication. Let's now see how stages of atheroma develop. Okay, so let's first draw a normal arterial wall. The outermost layer is known as the tunica adventitia. The middle layer is the media, which includes the elastic fibers which I'm drawing as a zigzag line. And finally, the innermost layer is the intima. So the arterial wall then has three basic layers, the outermost being the tunica adventitia, the middle layer, the tunica media, which includes, as mentioned, the zigzag line of the elastic fibers, and the innermost layer, which has a fine endothelial lining, known as the tunica intima. So let's now consider the various stages of atheromatous disease. So we can redraw the arterial wall. So here then we have the adventitia, the media with its elastic fibers, and the intima. In the first stage of atheromatous disease, we see what's described as a fatty streak. The fatty streak is characterized by deposition of lipid within the intimal layer, which is mostly intracellular. And importantly, it doesn't cause any distinct distortion of the intimal lining, so that blood flow within the lumen remains laminar. So this then is the first stage known as the fatty streak. With increasing deposition of lipid, eventually some of the lipid within the intimal layer becomes extracellular. And this extracellular lipid often induces a local tissue response which includes fibrosis and collagen formation. This now causes a degree of distortion within the lumen and a raised plaque-like lesion is formed. And so this combination of lipid with fibrosis is the second stage of atheroma, which we can describe as the fibro fatty plaque. So in this third stage of atheromatous disease, we have an established fibrofatty plaque, which includes, as mentioned, abundant extracellular lipid and local collagen. An important complication is that of surface ulceration. In a subsequent video, we'll be discussing other complications of this process. Now we've discussed the underlying process of atheroma, you may wish to watch a further video which discusses its complications. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it both interesting and informative.